on Force 13 HQ. This is April 22nd, 2017. Here's your Tropical Weather Bulletin. Saturday morning, April 22nd, we still have X Arlene active, no longer tropical, but moving through the Atlantic, going for round two towards the Azores. Um, it's not going to get there for a little while yet, though, and we don't expect it will turn tropical, but you never know. We also have two other Invests active, Invest 93W in the Western Pacific and 97P located north of the top end of Australia, rather the Cape York Peninsula. But tonight's feature is Invest 93W, winds of 25 miles an hour, pressure 1,007 millibars, it's at 6.2 degrees north, 145.6 degrees east at the latest um, bulletin. Uh, which is this, and the storm is expected to move towards the northwest. The system uh, in a west northwesterly direction, in fact, we expect, but it could actually deviate a bit further north from that. The uh, model run in GFS uh, shows something pretty interesting a potential development of this system as it moves towards the southwest of Guam and then to the west eventually, uh, and could possibly uh, develop into a weak and brief tropical storm that moves out to sea, so we'll be watching that one pretty closely. The Atlantic Ocean looks like this, there's Arlene, what's left of it, still moving around there, uh, now towards the south, and it was at one point only around 500 miles from Newfoundland, which is uh, covered in snow ironically. The East Pacific looks like this, um, you can see that band there, which is um, loosely defined around an extra-tropical cyclone further north, extending all the way to Hawaii, but the rest of the East Pacific is very quiet. A few equatorial thunderstorms, but not getting anywhere close to being tropical cyclones. The West Pacific looks like this, uh, a big frontal system now extending all the way across Taiwan through Japan. What was left of in a, a tropical depression 2W is part of that, and there's 93W near the bottom there, um, slowly getting organised. Uh, this is old imagery of Australia and the South Pacific, but there's 97P developing there just north of the Cape York Peninsula along the southern coast of Papua New Guinea near the border with Indonesia. Here's the Indian Ocean. A full view of this as well, um, an area of interest potentially there on the eastern half of the ocean, not too far from Indonesia. It's probably too low latitude in the southern hemisphere though for anything to come of it. Sea surface temperatures right now, uh, again there's still a little bit of a cool pocket there in the central Pacific, it is below normal. The eastern Pacific is warmer than normal um, and in the Atlantic the Caribbean is looking pretty warm right now um, and of course where Arlene is it's certainly warm enough for a tropical cyclone so they say. Here's the Indian Ocean, uh, around 30 30 degrees in the eastern half, uh, the western half, sorry. Uh, the eastern half is still pretty warm as well though, of course. And in the western Pacific, in the South China Sea, around the Philippines is the hot spot, but where Invest 93W is, here it is, uh, sea surface temperatures are also pretty warm, around 28 degrees Celsius or so. And here it is. Um, not too much going on near the centre of this system in those latest frames. In fact, the thunderstorm activity appears to have fizzled out, but around the general vicinity of this uh, system, uh, there is thunderstorm activity possibly affecting some of the Micronesian islands. The ones marked there on the right hand side in the pink island are the islands of Chuk in Micronesia. Guam is just about due north of this system right now off picture um, off the northern side edge of the screen and over towards the western side probably also off the edge of the screen would have been Palau. Invest 97P looks like this uh, in the latest frames. Um, not looking too bad. Thunderstorm activity is pretty uh, vigorous right now as it moves towards the southern um, extremity of Indonesia um, on the border with Papua New Guinea. Uh, it's an interesting location for a potential cyclone, uh, but it's not going to get much traction at the moment by the looks of things in the position it's in right now. But something to watch out for in the coming days. I expect this system will be moving towards the west and then may produce something in the eastern uh, part of the Indian Ocean, or perhaps even sooner. Here's post-tropical storm Arlene moving towards the south there, still maintaining some semblance of convection on the eastern side, and the centre of the cyclone is still pretty visible and apparent, uh, but it is no longer of tropical um, nature. Um, but you never know, it could retain tropical characteristics. It is moving south after all, back towards where it developed um, and battling with that other extra-tropical cyclone that it's interacting with there on the right-hand side, uh, which is very poor indeed. Of course, the forecast initially said that Arlene would get absorbed by that extra-tropical cyclone, but it was so weak uh, that it didn't, and now they're just circling around each other. So. 
these are the totals for 2017 so far. One depression, nine storms, two category ones, one category two, and one three, four, and five as well. Uh, much variety in this year so far, but the numbers aren't quite up to scratch. A little bit below average at 16 right now in terms of tropical storms. 31 is the so-called target set by 1900. That's the 117th position, and many more above that. Uh, no doubt we will get to 31 or more before the end of this year. Um, the typical average in the last 40 years or so has been around 90. So Arlene has already formed in the Atlantic. The next name, of course, would be Brit. In the East Pacific, Adrian is the first name, and we'll be looking out for that mainly next month. In the Central Pacific, Walaka is next up. You may get a uh, surprise system over in the Central Pacific off-season. It is a bit more likely over there, but nothing on the cards yet. The Western Pacific, the next name is Muifa, if uh, 93W gets its act together. Maruth has already been used in the North Indian Ocean a few weeks ago, and Mora is next on their naming list at the end of list 6. In the Australian region, should we get another storm well 97p could become francis in the southwest indian ocean gabby keel is the next name and in fiji it's donna that's all for today we'll be back on april 23rd you can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, you're probably there already. Search Force 13, all in text if not, and subscribe also if you haven't, it'd be very nice if you did. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text, at Force 13 is the handle on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, F O L 13 and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.